Hi, I'm Bob Ray Sanders here with Cynthia Allen, and today we're taking sides on the issue of the Speaker of the House inviting a head of state from Israel to come and speak to Congress without consulting with the President. What do you think about that? Well, um, I have to say as a tactic, I don't particularly like it. Um, while I like the result, I do, I do like the fact that Netanyahu is going to come and speak here uh, to the Congress and the American public. I Why? don't think that this was an appropriate way for um, for Netanyahu and for John Boehner to to make that happen. Um, they didn't use diplomatic channels, which was, um, you know, you might call it, I'm sure you're going to call it disrespectful, um, but I, I don't, I don't think that's that... What it, you don't think it was? I didn't say that. I simply said I don't think it was the right, a right way to go about it. But you don't think it was disrespectful? Well, I think... And the, intentionally disrespectful? I think that the president reaps what he sows. I think that he has disrespected the Congress, and the Congress is disrespecting him. I think there's just a whole atmosphere of that in Washington. And so, um, you know, the president has, has done that many times, um, where he has gone... He, he had, for example, with uh, the Bo Bergdahl prisoner swap, he was supposed to consult, or the administration was supposed to consult Congress first. They didn't. The GAO said that that, that was actually unconstitutional. What they did was illegal. Um, the same thing with, with Cuba, with changing diplomatic relations with Cuba. The president didn't consult Congress. And last week, Tony Blinken had to apologize. One of the or deputy secretaries of states had to apologize before Congress for not doing that. So there's a lot of disrespect to go around, and that's unfortunate. Well, I don't think the president is being disrespectful to Congress. I think the president is exercising his, his authority. Well, and see, he, and he, and he has that's a double standard. He, no, he has constitutional authority in terms of foreign policy. He doesn't to do illegal he, things, though, which well, I mean, we did with the well, Bloomberg swap. It's, it's not illegal. I mean, this, no, it, the GAO said this, it was legal. This Congress does not respect this president, has not respected him since the day he was elected, said their main job was to make sure he was a one-term president, and he, and he beat them on that because he's serving two terms. They can't get over the fact that this man has been elected twice. They want to do anything they can to try to embarrass him and show their disrespect publicly. And of course, I mean, he handled it fine, but... I think any objective person would have to acknowledge that there's disrespect on both sides. And I think that, that I think that's really unfortunate. I think that says a lot of bad things about what's going on in Washington. But I think that, um, I, I agree that I don't think this was the right way for John Boehner to get Netanyahu to come speak. But there's the other issue of too, that the whole issue of Iran sanctions. And there actually is um, a lot of support on both sides of the aisle. There are a lot of disagreement with how the administration is handling these negotiations. There are a lot of Senate Democrats in particular, powerful Senate Democrats, Boxer, Blumenthal, Schumer, they all don't like it. So, I mean, there is a valid policy debate to be had here. Well, the, 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 the policy that is going forward right now is whether or not we can keep Iran from having nuclear weapons, which is on track to happening. And no, the Congress, the, oh, it is on track to happening. In fact, it has already happened to a degree because they're not developing the they're nuclear still, weapon. They are still developing uranium. Yeah, well, uranium is not the same thing as a nuclear from, weapon. It's a step away from a nuclear well, weapon. Well, I mean, everything is a step away from everything, but that, that's not what they're doing now. The Congress is sabotaging these talks right now, and that's what the president said he will veto if they do come up with more sanctions for them, and he has a right to do that, and if they can override it, override it. I don't think they're sabotaging the talks. I think the bigger issue here is sort of what this means for relationships between the United States and Israel. I think that's the bigger issue. We know that, that Congress and the president are disagree on many issues, but what is this, how is this going to affect our future relationship with Israel? And that's a real issue, I think. Well, um, it was, yeah, it's a real issue, but, but who's, whose problem is that? I mean, if Israel is going to cooperate with John Boehner in trying to embarrass the president, I mean, I don't see how that's going to help relations. And, and, and no, up for, it, cer it uh, certainly isn't. Election. But we also know that the president and Netanyahu don't really like each other. So I don't necessarily see that relationship getting better while President Obama well, is Well, the president office. doesn't like some of the things that Israel is doing in terms of the Palestinian territories and, and their occupation and how they're treating the Palestinians. I mean, I think that's true. And that needs to be addressed. And the Congress ought to address that. But at the same time, I think we got a Congress here who's still bent on trying to bring embarrassment to this president. And they will do everything they can to do that. I think, I think it goes both ways. I think respect goes both ways. And unfortunately, we don't see a lot of that in Washington. But we'd like to know what you think. Thanks for joining us today.